Hi everyone. So yesterday I took out all of the camper van parts. Uh, two reasons. One was to uh, get an accurate weight for uh, all the people who were interested in knowing how much weight I'm adding to the van. But also, we don't have any more road trips planned this year. So I like to pull everything out, just use the minivan as a utility vehicle, haul people or things around. So everything's out of here. It's back to a regular minivan. Uh, but I didn't take the solar panel off. So today I'm going to take the solar panel off and remove uh, the wiring. That way I can show you some of the uh, details of how I got this wired in and it might help you with your project. So let's uh, get started. So the first step is to uh, deal with the, the wire uh, for the solar panel that comes in through the side of the vehicle. We've got two wires. One is um, or two bundles. One is for the solar panel. The other is the uh, shore power, which I have uh, just tied up here. I'm not going to take that off. Uh, I'm just going to focus on the solar right now. So this guy's got to come out. Uh, both of these wires coming underneath this panel. There's a lot of space in here between the carpeting. And they both come in here and they're just going through an existing hole in the side panel. There's uh, pipe insulation wrapped around it to protect the wires and uh, seal out most of anything that can come through. Uh, this is high up on the inner fender well, um, not in a real splash zone, so I'm not worried about any water coming in. Uh, and there, there's no evidence of any moisture that's that's come in. So I got to pull this wire through there. All right, so that just dropped down outside. With the solar panel out, I can show you what's going on on the backside. Uh, so first of all, this cable, this is a 10 gauge uh, photovoltaic uh, cable, uh, good for outdoor use. Um, this is 10 foot long. I put on, on the end that goes into the inside uh, an XT60 uh, 20 amp connector. Uh, it's a solder on connector and then <clears throat> It's uh, got just a regular cable clamp here, zip ties along the way there. And uh, here the MC4 connectors are tucked in here. And then <clears throat> those come right off the junction diode box down here. So uh, just more zip ties, uh, nothing fancy, uh, real easy. Also, i can give you a good look at the, the uh, hardware and the, uh, the support bracket here. Uh, this is made out of aluminum angle, one and a half inch, one by one and a half inch, eighth inch thick. Uh, there's uh, four uh, stainless steel uh, M6 button head screws and lock nuts on the back side. Uh, there's also along the top, uh, underneath, uh, two more. Uh, button head screws down here. They tie into the long rails here. Ties it all together, makes it solid. On the ends, uh, you can see the, the angle I cut on the main rail here so that this angle can <clears throat> match the inside of the roof rail angle. And there's four aluminum rivets to hold it in place. Uh, super solid. Uh, both ends are identical, front to back's identical, 
and <clears throat> it was uh, important to get the the width or, or the length of this this rail uh, pretty precise to match the inside width of the <clears throat> roof rails from side to side. So they sit in there just right so they're uh, vertically, they, they rest in the right spot. So let's see, I guess that's it. Um, there's uh, nothing really to look at on this side. This is just an uh, uh, inexpensive polycrystalline 100 watt panel. Uh, by Rich Solar, and that's it. I pulled the cable out through this hole. Uh, I screwed up the video of uh, <clears throat> the part where I clipped the zip ties along the way and I pulled the cable out, uh, hit the wrong button. So no video on that, but um, all that's left to do now is to plug this hole up. This is, for all of the camper van conversion, this is the only hole I drilled uh, and it was for getting the cable to go inside from the outside. Um, and also I chamfered the, the inside of the hole so that that steep angle of cable uh, wouldn't get chafed up <clears throat> with the sharp edge. So it's, it's nice and soft in here. Um, when I pulled the cable out, I checked it and there's no sign of any abrasion. So I'm pretty happy about that. But now I just uh, wanna cover that up. And so this is three quarters of an inch diameter just uh, got a regular little plug here, and uh, let's see if this will go in. There. Just like factory. So uh, that's it for solar panel removal and the wiring um, for next year for getting ready for our first big road trip. It all goes back in, but it should go in pretty quick. I've done it before and uh, probably shoot a video. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Uh, see you next time.